the game factory where fun is made. Hey guys, it's D-Wall here, and today we are starting Code Lyoko Quest for Infinity for the PlayStation 2. I have been waiting to play this game for a very long time now, and I am glad to bring it to you here on my channel. Thank you guys for joining me. Please leave a like if you want to see more of this series, and we're going to get started right now in this game now this is the main screen this is basically where you can talk to everybody in the school is basically where you can see the collectibles here and then there's certain characters you can interact with and sometimes depending on where you are in the story they can even give you uh, rewards and this is the factory where basically where the main game will take place most of the time um, this is like I said this is mostly just uh, the main hub to talk with the characters and everything like that. Now, for those of you who don't know who Co what Code Lyoko is, I said who. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what Code Lyoko is, basically it was a TV show that was on Cartoon Network a number of years ago. Well, very very long time ago now. Uh, very popular. It was actually originating in France and uh, came over here to the states. And this game is basically what happens after the events of season three so basically all of most of season four is based off of this game right here and uh, for those of you who may or may not have seen the show season three well actually let me just start off with the beginning basically uh, to get just to make a long story short uh, four kids uh, especially actually this person right here Jeremy finds a supercomputer at an old factory he turns it on finds a uh, finds a woman there in the computer who wakes up doesn't know who she is and how she got there um, and if anybody could tell me the name of the name that Jeremy gave her when they first met when they first met not afterward but when they first met um, if you can let me know just tell me in the comments below what was the name that Jeremy gave to who we now know as Ailita before Ailita found out her name was Ailita that I, I, I'm curious to find out who would actually remember that but later on they found uh, three Jeremy uh, recruited three other people um, Odd, Yumi and uh, Oric excuse me, yeah, the names escape me a little bit Odd, Yumi and Oric they all got you know caught up in this and all because of Xana which basically the logo you see on Jeremy right now that is Xana's logo Xana wants to take over the world escape from Lyoko which is the virtual world that uh, Ailita was trapped on and uh, was sent to now over the time over the course of the series they find out that uh, Franz Hopper is Ailita's father and after the events of season 3 um, they find at end season three they find a new student named William William enrolls in the school finds out about Lyoko and basically is possessed by Xana he uses William and basically destroys Lyoko completely and Franz Hopper is now trying to help them rebuild Lyoko so that is the basis of this game this is happens right after season three is over and you'll see those references in this game also but now we're going to talk to this is the principal of Kadic Academy
Children, did William tell you he was leaving school? Um, no, sir. That's strange. His father's voice sounded weird when he called me. I hope that nothing serious has happened to him. Anyway, uh, have a good day. And um, for those of you who don't know, that is um, what he's talking about there is William's disappearance from the school after he was trapped in Lyoko and possessed by Xana. So basically now he is trapped there thanks to Xana. He's possessed by Xana and nobody knows where he is in the actual world. So that'll be addressed also in this game eventually. Aren't you participating in the college drawing contest? You still have time to sign up, you know. It's happening behind this door, but don't make any noise. Some of them are already working. And um, that's Millie. Millie and this woman right here. Are you wondering what's behind this door? I wondered too, and after asking around, I discovered that it was only a maintenance room for setting the parameters of this game. Yeah, that's uh, breaking the fourth wall a little bit, but yeah, that she's basically telling you the, the options menu, but these two right here, Tamila and Millie, run the newspaper for Caddick Academy, and this is Jeremy, sort of. Hey, how's it going? You're not at the factory? No way. It's too nice out to glue my eyes to a computer screen. You sure you're okay, Jeremy? No worries, cutie. I'm in great shape. Not to panic. It's Jeremy's clone. He programmed it so he could spend more time on Lyoko while still being in class. All right, I want one too. Really? Why? Haven't you got enough time to sleep and pig out after class? Hey, babe. Something on your mind? Yeah, basically Jeremy created a clone of himself so he can spend more time... You, you, Ilita just said it. Why, why do I have to repeat myself? Speaking of Ilita, Ilita eventually did get devirtualized into the real world in the end of season one, but their their problems with Xana were far, far from over. I suggest if you have never seen Kolioka before, please go and watch it. It is one of the best shows I've ever seen, bar none, hands down. And this is Sissy, the principal's daughter. Hey, Ulrich, any chance you could give me an interview? I'm writing an article about the good-looking guys on campus. You figure you're a journalist? Editor-in-chief, to be exact. From now on, the Caddick News is me! Cool. Look, about the interview, I haven't got much time at the moment. I'll have to get to the pool. Why don't you ask Odd? He's always got scoops about the menu at the snack bar. Yeah, you ought to be happy about the menu for lunch. We're having quiche! Very funny. Yeah, Sissy's kind of the butt of everybody's jokes in the Lyokos Warriors group. So, and this is one of Sissy's sort of kind of friends. I tried to get out lots of time during recess, but it never worked. The only thing I got was detention. Definitely not cool. Yeah, that's Nicholas, and he's not really the brightest of the bunch. So now that we've talked to everybody, now that you know where everything is, those are the options. That's to save the game and load your saved game, and those are all your collectibles. We don't really need to go there right now. Now we can get into the real meat and potatoes of this game, and that's here in the factory. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the factory. That's where you can go back to the school, and this is basically where everything happens in Lyoko. That is the computer that Jeremy uses to virtualize the, his friends into Lyoko. It's where he finds out where Xan is attacking, um, other than on his laptop that he uses as well. And that is the real Jeremy, and we're going to talk to him right now. And I believe you're going to hear more about the story of what happened at the end of season three and into season four if you haven't seen it. Odd, what are you doing here? Don't you have a math class? Yeah, but I'm totally lost. It's not that complex. Math just needs a little logic and- Easy for you to say, Mr. Computer Genius. Anyway, have you finished rebuilding Lyoko? Almost. Another couple of days and it will be up and running. That's great. I can't wait to try out my new outfit. It makes me look real good. Lyoko isn't Halloween odd. 
and Xana has been strangely quiet recently, so there's no reason to go. Come on, be a pal. Just a couple of minutes? Out of the question. Oh, man, what a wet blanket. You should go back to your math class. There's a quiz next week. What about William? No signs of life? Can I go get him? No, but I don't know how long we can keep hiding his absence from the principal. No prob, Einstein. With your genius and my talent, we'll find him in no time. I hope so. How many days have you been working nonstop? Shouldn't you sleep a little? You work too much, you know. No time for sleep. The super scan shows a tower coming online in the desert sector. I'll call the others. No, don't! If they skip class, I won't be able to copy their notes. I'll take care of it. Okay, go ahead. I'll start the procedure. Well, there you go. So, you know, like they like they pointed out, Lyoko was is being rebuilt by Jeremy when it was destroyed. And he's almost done with it. And he decided also in season four to make them new outfits, which you'll probably see as well coming up. And William, again, they're trying to hide his absence because he's been taken over by Xana. So they're trying to figure all that out all while Xana is now attacking. So this is where you select your missions. Basically, you can move it around and, and things like that. And basically, this is all you can select right now. And if you click the triangle button, it will bring up your upgrades. Now, right now, there's no points, but eventually, you can upgrade Aelita's stats, Oryx, Yumi's, and Odds. So, that will be later on once you collect enough points. And there's plenty of chances you can get to collect points in this game. A lot of collectibles, a lot of a, a lot of things you can collect during this game. But anyway, let's get into this mission here. Deactivate the tower in the desert sector. Be careful. It may want to be it may one may be one of William's traps. I can't talk today. Scanner on. Virtualization. Is that it, Odd? I just never get tired of this new outfit. So classy! Get serious, okay? We have to find the tower and disable it. No problem! Alright, basically you can use the left analog stick to move around. I like to use the directional buttons, though. It's all the same thing. You may have a new outfit, but the basics are still the same. Hey, this place looks just right for jump training. And basically, this is this is basically the tutorial level. So it'll teach you how to jump, how to attack, everything like that. So if you're new to this game, you'll pick it up fairly quickly. And that's the tower we have to deactivate. All of Xana's towers will be red when he activates the tower. So, and this right here, if you see it on the ground, is a save point. It'll be a checkpoint. So this save point will record where you are. Yeah, I just said that. Shoot at the switches to activate them. And basically it's telling you now how to shoot. You can hold L1 to lock on. And you can use this to move platforms and things like that in the game. Hey, Odd, you've got company. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. All right, so you basically it's saying to hold the circle button to dot to pull up a shield. And those are some of the monsters in Lyoko that Xana uses to try and attack the local Lyoko warriors and basically kill them because he doesn't like them very much. You see there we use that switch, there's another save point, and we keep going. Odd, use this well of life to fill up on life points. Then hang on to this wall with your claws. And basically, 
is telling you to use X to climb onto the walls. And there's another save point. And that's and this is where you can, like he said, refill on your life points if you need to. And basically, once you press X, all you have to do is just maneuver around. It's not very hard. And see, we're already almost there. And basically, you want to look around and see if there's any debris that you can shoot because that will give you points. Oh, cutscene. It's William. I found him. It looks more like he found you. 